Good day. This is Jason from Jason Polak Photography. And as you know, I am very interested in the application of artificial intelligence to human endeavors. More precisely, I'm interested in warning people of the dangers of it and potentially even stopping uh, AI. At the very least, by warning of the dangers of it, maybe enough people will get some sense to stop the development of AI. So this video is about the applications of artificial intelligence to mathematics, not to photography. Although I am equally interested in both the applications to mathematics and to photography. And I think the applications to mathematics does elucidate some of the problems that we have, the social problems that may happen when we apply AI to certain human fields. Now, when I talk about the use of AI in mathematics, I'm talking about the use of large language models and other related technologies, perhaps combined with the lean proof verification software or other proof verification softwares that automate mathematical proofs. I believe in the next 10 to 20 years, such systems will be able to suggest many creative lines of thought in the process of mathematics. Now, I don't want to make this video too long and talk too much about what pure mathematics is. Suffice it to say, it is a sort of creative, artistic endeavor of proving logical statements about abstract mathematical objects. I myself uh, did work in the field for quite some time and have several published papers, so I do understand what mathematics is and the implications that AI has with mathematics. So I'm going to read you this essay that I wrote on the application of AI to mathematics. I was recently struck by the use of AI in one of my first interests, mathematics. I wrote a letter to another mathematician professing my disdain over this development. I did acknowledge that if we want to maximize the production of truth, then developing advanced AI systems capable of mathematics is surely the way to go. But do we really want to maximize the production of truth? Mathematics serves more than just a source of logical truth. When Euclid wrote of the bisection of a line, we don't just marvel at the beauty of the construction, but of the elegance of the human mind which obtained it. When Gauss proved the fundamental theorem of algebra, we don't just find a reason behind the existence of complex roots of non-constant polynomials. We feel the passion behind the search for solutions. This admiration for the art of mathematics goes beyond the production of truth. Instead, this admiration is of the journey for truth. Some have made the point that mathematicians have used machines since the days of simple calculators. Yet, these calculators are mechanical in nature. Even modern computer algebra systems, such as SAGE, still only operate in the mechanical domain. With modern AI systems, for the first time, we are seeing the nascent stages of a machine that can suggest creative lines of thought, and that is fundamentally destructive. For, by embarking on the journey to automate mathematics on the creative level, we mechanize the search for truth into an industrial production. We take away the importance of the human element. Now, every student going into mathematics will no longer look at mathematics as an intellectual journey to be shared by fellow travelers, but as the process of assisting the machine to find truth. But for what? When I was a graduate student, myself and other students often had difficulty with understanding every step in various proofs we had read. Sometimes people would come and ask me why something or other was true. It was a great joy to work out the details and explain it to them, or have such details explained to me. I think it won't be long now before an advanced AI will be able to do the same, and because humans often take the path of least resistance, students of the future will more likely be interacting with AI instead. The sense of community will dissipate, and again, the emphasis is shifted to utilitarian production. Even if we do gain some benefit from the truth out of AI, what is the purpose of life on this planet if we become subservient cogs to the machine? This phenomenon isn't restricted to mathematics. In fact, it is not really just an AI problem either, as much as I hate AI. At some point, we decided that the only thing that really matters is economic production, fueled by the human instinct for greed. 
AI is just the apex technology in that process. We still have the freedom to pursue other objectives, but only in the increasingly restricted realm of objectives that don't affect economic progress. And the latest in a long line of such restrictions is the discarding of a sense of community due to further AI-assisted production. Some will consider this trade-off to be worthwhile. I consider it offensive, and I think it should be stopped. So I hope you enjoyed that perspective on the use of artificial intelligence in mathematics, particularly the realm of pure mathematics with which I am most familiar. I do think that the use of AI in math is going to have a detrimental effect on the entire field, and that the only sort of immediate benefit will be the industrial production of math, the production of a large number of results that don't really, that won't really be that uh, interesting, except in the sense that it will further this already artificially constructed mechanized system that's only designed just to produce results. So it's just a system unto itself. It really has no benefit for humankind.